I was down in London doing some work for a travel company last summer and I found myself debating whether or not to catch the train back to Shrewsbury or try something a bit different for a change. For the reasonable price of £61.31, pence, British Airways could get me up to Manchester on a Friday afternoon in around 30 minutes using one of their City Flyer operated Embraer E190s out of London City Airport. So here I was, taking the Docklands Light Railway out to LCY. Now obviously there's no point in going on the DLR unless you can get in the front seat. Where else in the UK can you pretend you're driving the train? It's one of my favourite things to do when travelling around the capital. Now I made my way out to London City Airport in super quick time thanks to the DLR. And when I got there, it was pretty quick to get straight from the station into the terminal building, through security and find myself a seat. Now although there are no lounge facilities at present, I do get to play some pretty cool lounge music at this point in the video. There are numerous food outlets and though the terminal can get really crowded, if you get a spot near the window there are some fantastic views of the aircraft outside. The London City Airport was completed in 1987. It has a single short 1580 metre runway and aircraft mainly tend to be limited to the usual turboprops and the smaller Embraer mid-range airliners. Do you know of any unusual aircraft that regularly use LCY? Let me know in the comments if you do. Now my ride today was on this BA City Flyer E190, registration GLCYJ, and it was uh, delivered to British Airways on the 4th of March 2010. I found it really interesting watching the aircraft taxi into the gates, watching them swing round to face the runway. There are currently no taxiways here, but the airport can impressively handle more than 38 flights an hour at busy times.
flight time to Manchester will be about 35 minutes. I hope you'll enjoy the flight with us. The plane was approximately half full for my flight. I found the cabin reasonably comfortable, and leg room was perfectly sufficient for me. I was pretty impressed by the speed at which the crew managed to serve everybody on board. To be honest, I wasn't expecting any food or drink, so a coke and a packet of crisps was a welcome surprise. Before I knew it, we were beginning the descent into Manchester. A very comfortable and quick flight indeed. And just to sum up, by the time I got back to Shrewsbury, I had definitely spent at least as much time travelling as I would have done on the train out of Euston. And you certainly get back cheaper on the train if, if you buy tickets in advance. However, this was a bit of a one-off, and I did enjoy the experience. Now would I do it again? Yes, absolutely. And I think London City has the edge over Heathrow for this kind of trip, due to the speed at which you can get out to the airport from central London. Now, despite its size, connectivity within the UK and Europe is, in my opinion, very good. Well, what's your favourite UK airport in terms of convenience and choice? Do let me know in the comments below. And in the meantime, guys, I would like to thank you again for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate the support. And I obviously travel is very difficult at the moment, but I do have loads of trips coming up. I can't wait to get back out there, and I look forward to sharing my experiences with you. So, until the next time guys, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you soon.